Go. Hi, I'm Mark Hall, your Plymouth District Council's Manager, Water and Waste. Let me show you what's going to happen over the next few months as we upgrade our wastewater treatment plant. I'll first describe our normal operation. There are three basic steps to our treatment plant. Wastewater enters the plant and goes through a screening process. The screening process removes anything greater than 3 mil and that is taken off the landfill. Step 2, biological treatment. That's where it goes into the aeration basins. Here we add oxygen, we encourage naturally occurring bugs to grow and multiply and they consume organic material in the wastewater. Step 3, the now clear water is put into the disinfection process where we add chlorine to disinfect the water before it goes out to sea as treated wastewater. Of, of importance to note, in the disinfection process we have two locations for adding chlorine and one of them is a, is a check. The first chlorine is added up here, by the time it gets into the, dis, to, to the chlorine contact tank it has already taken effect. We have a chlorine analyzer at this location, which then checks for what's called a chlorine residual. If that chlorine residual is an acceptably acceptable level, then the water just continues to flow through the process and out to sea is treated water. If the chlorine residual is unacceptably low, we will then dose additional chlorine at this point to raise the chlorine up to an acceptable level. That will then take a do its disinfection in the remainder of the chlorine contact tank before the treated water is discharged to the sea. So that is normal operation. Screening, biological treatment, disinfection. Now I'm going to describe what's going to happen when we take one basin offline. As per normal, all the wastewater will come into the plant and go through the screening process. After the screening process, we will put 50% of the water into basin 2 and we will bypass 50% of the water around the biological treatment process. What we will do is we will add a dose of chlorine at this location here on the water that is bypassed the biological treatment process. For the water that goes through biological treatment process, it will be chlorinated as per normal. Both flows will combine at this point before entering, before all of the water enters the chlorine contact tank for the final stage of treatment. In the chlorine contact tank, all of the water will be subject to our quality control chlorine residual check. And again, if the chlorine residual is unacceptably low, we will add additional chlorine at this point to ensure that we get adequate disinfection. After that, treated water will then be discharged into the sea. So in summary, all of the wastewater will go through the screening process. Half of the water will go through the biological treatment process, half of the water will bypass the biological treatment process. However, it will be have an additional chlorine dose. All of the water will then be go through our disinfection process before that water, treated water, is discharged to the sea. Well, I hope you, I hope this um, helps you understand the process and may alleviate any of the concerns you may have had. And if you require further information or would like to check on our progress with this project, please visit our website www.newplymouthnz.com Thank you.